engineering and STEM companies ultimately are looking to sell innovation. We're trying to develop new products, we're trying to push technology forward. And to really drive innovation, I think you need as much difference in the way that people approach things as you can. So for me, people from different backgrounds, people with different growing uh, upbringing, people who faced any different challenge, so be that being disabled, be that being of an ethnic minority or being LGBT, I think that really drives your different way to approach a problem. And then all of those different ways to approach a problem will come across a better answer and ultimately a better solution for our customer and for society as a whole if we have that kind of diversity of thought in everything that we do. I knew from when I was 13, 14 that I was gay and I always try to suppress it. I look back on my time at university and I think about my early career and it didn't do me any good. It didn't help me, it didn't get me a promotion by pretending to be straight. Um, it just slowed me down more than anything and created something extra to worry about. So far we've only had positive stories from our employees who've come out at work. Um, all of the negative stories that we get from LGBT employees come from those who aren't out and it's the fear of what might happen if I come out, I might not get promoted, I might not get that pay rise. But actually reality tells us it's very different and that those employees who have come out have had nothing but either neutral or positive experiences. And a neutral experience is good because it means people just don't care and they just see you for you and it doesn't matter about the fact that you might be perceived as a little bit different. So it's over, the challenge we have is overcoming those perceptions that you can't be yourself in engineering. Well, actually, our experiences in Rolls-Royce tells us that you can be. Very often I hear from people words like, well, I don't have an issue. I don't have any issue with LGBT plus issues in the, in the business. And, and so that's not for me. And my counter to that is, well, you're exactly the sort of person that I want to be an ally because you, you play a really important role in the company. Allies are there to support LGBT plus people. You may find that you kind of stumble over what are the correct words, but if you've got positive intent, that's a very powerful thing. People will be very forgiving of that. And if we have allies across the organization who challenge behavior that's not appropriate, then we will stamp that out and we will say, this is who we are as a company. And that's the message that I want to get out there. Uh, and that's why we rely on allies at, globally across Rolls-Royce? Well I'm quite new to this so I only came out as trans uh, last year uh, and I've only been living full-time for around three months so uh, my experience is quite limited um, at the moment but so far Rolls-Royce have been amazingly supportive. Um, any kind of barrier I might have faced or any kind of um, preconception I've had has been completely smashed to bits by the by the help that my managers have given me and, and, the, and the communities that work in Rolls-Royce to make sure that you feel included. So um, it's quite frankly, it's been a really positive experience without exception. If you have a diverse workforce that have grown up having different experiences and you know, grown up in different situations, different backgrounds, different classes, different ethnicities, maybe countries as well, um, you, you increase your chances of having someone in the organization that's gonna have that, that bright idea. And that's, that's absolutely crucial. So um, that's, that's why it's so important for everybody to feel as though they can be themselves and, and also be included. What, what is life if it's not worth taking a chance on being happy? You know, um, if you can't be happy, what's the point? And if, if, if you can't be who you are, how can you be happy?